Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So, we are gonna go and look at some home stuff today, start to piece together some ideas and make some decisions, hopefully some final ones. Um, time is ticking and I actually need to do a home update video which I will film at some point in the next week because the roof is on. When I say it's on, like the shell of it is on. Obviously everything else needs to be done but I'm very happy about that. So we're gonna head to Artisans of Devices first, which has a huge tile selection. Um, I really need to start thinking about some tiles. And then we're gonna head and look at some stone and then we're gonna look at some doors. So three places we're gonna go. Hopefully we can get a good look around and really start to get like some decent ideas and yeah, make some decisions. So here we have all of the fur and ball colours, which is actually really helpful to be honest, because I've never seen them like this before. Um, Off-white, bone, I'm always drawn to pink as well. I just can't help it. I'm not going to have pink, but I'm always drawn to it. Jordan's over here dreaming about <laughs> this marble. He is a bit. This is what I've always wanted for the work tops. And I think having this contrast with our like sleek white doors and that. Tell me. You'd obviously have to be very careful, but still. You would have to be really careful. And chipping it, you can chip this quite easily. Oh really? Yeah. Need to we need to look at some. I more just stone. love that style of marble with the contrast. This kitchen. I feel like something we haven't actually thought about when we're doing a kitchen is having like a like a focal point like this, yeah. like with a big cooker and like kind of the way it looks. We haven't really thought about that, have we? It's more of a traditional look, I guess, isn't it? Yeah. And Jordan wants to go more modern, and I'm actually on that vibe as well. So I feel like this is a really lovely for a traditional look. Um, but we are going a bit more modern, but I really like this. Really lovely. Um, you can tell the kitchen's really well made. And one thing I do want in the kitchen is oak interior. Do you like the oak interior? Yes. Jordan really likes this tile on the floor. We haven't decided whether we're going to have wood floor in the main living area or tile yet. Because the reason I say tile in the like kitchen area is because I want to run this same tile outside so it's like a seamless look as you walk out of the patio. So the patio would also be done in this. It is a lovely tile to be fair. And it's really big, which helps obviously, less grout. Yeah. So Jordan's just putting the marble by the stone floor that we like. I feel like it doesn't look bad. Um, I mean, that's not definitely the marble we're gonna go for, so. I think that do that looks nice. Yeah, that does, not that? It looks nice, yeah. It won't obviously be this exact one. No. We can pick, like, you might want one of the pinky blush or something. Yeah. Oh, don't tempt me. Pink blush marble. Well, it is. Pinky <laughs> blush, isn't it? And then we're putting that up against wood. I think they both look really nice. We're going to have loads of wood in the open plan living area anyway, like in the kitchen, and maybe do, like, a ceiling feature. So, yeah, it looks good. Jordan has fallen in love with this herringbone stone floor and I must say I think it looks absolutely gorgeous um, but the only thing that worries me is this much grout on a floor because we've well I've been there where I've done that before and it, it just gets dirty but mm. we've thought of an area we could have it which won't have much kind of traffic. dirty traffic I'll say dirty traffic, yeah. <laughs> like with the kids and with like you know mud and kind of thing because this wouldn't work in the utility room because it would yeah it just wouldn't work but maybe in the kind of snug living area it would work and it is absolutely stunning to be honest and that on a floor would just be amazing here are the brick tile selections and again i think they are just really lovely and could work so well i don't think they'll be right for our house but maybe in a future one <laughs> They are really gorgeous and I love the herringbone ones here as well. So they have some wood tiles here, which I would be interested to look a little bit more into just for a bathroom, um, because it'd probably be way more durable than having real wood in a bathroom. They have the National Trust tile collection and I've always been drawn 
to these tiles. I think they're just stunning and I love the contrast with the pink and the green. They look gorgeous. I don't think they're going to be right for our house, but again, for maybe something in the future, they are just beautiful. That's Calcutta candy. Oh, nice. Look at that pink marble. I did get a sample of this once when I was doing my interior design course. I'm actually really glad I've seen it up close and all tiled because I don't love it as much as I thought I would. So we are in like the marble showroom it feels like and they've got pink marble here. Oh imagine just designing a house that was all pink. I'd love that so never much. Budget. That'd be nice. Oh yeah, I'd love that. But there is a the marble that we like for worktops. Mm -hmm. I also really like this um cream marble as well. That's really you know lovely. What I do like that you won't like is these. Do you? I mean I don't hate them but I think that is very cool. Really? Oh, this would be nice in like a Victorian house. Yeah, um, I guess. I don't it's love it. Nice. I like that marble behind you. That's like a more subtle, That's kind of I guess. Kind of aura. That's like a bit more subtle than with the black in. I actually really like that. Maybe I prefer it. What do you think? <laughs> Floor, we really like the terrazzo style of tile. And um, that's not like the perfect one. Here we go, Jordan. <gasps> oh, look at that. Well, ah, yes, there we go. Look that's at that. Oh my goodness, it's even got a bit of pink in. That's the one, or the one behind that. Yeah, that's all pink. The one behind it. Yeah, that is cool. I really like that. That's gorgeous, isn't it? That's just a <gasps> print oh, wow. as well. Yeah, that's lovely. Oh, did you mean that one when you were saying the one behind it? Or did you mean no, that one? No, I didn't mean that one. Oh. That's like a feature wall. Yeah. If you wanted. In the girl's bathroom, maybe, or something like that. Yeah. I really like that one though as well. Mm. So here's the National Trust tiles in a bathroom. Even Jordan's agreed really he likes them, which I thought he would say I hate them, but he doesn't. So that's not too bad. Again, we won't have it in the house, but I just think they're gorgeous. That's a nice unit. You just said that, yeah, that worked well. Do you reckon that's custom made? I feel like it probably is. That is really nice. It's so hard to find a nice, bathroom unit like i feel like that's one of the hardest things in a bathroom yeah trying to find something like that yeah pink and green bath that is definitely a bathroom i can get on board with so this is called the california porcelain jade what a look so we just got blown to smithereens at the marble showroom but we saw some really beautiful pieces i'll insert a couple of clips um we kind of know what we want and we've got to get our measurements and that over first which is our next step and then we're going to go back and choose our piece of marble so we finished off our home inspiration trip um at pm at mendez doors looking at the doors they do they do some really stunning doors which is what we're after so they're kind of like the industrial look but they're actually made of wood which i think i do prefer so we're hoping to get some of those, but we just need to work through what doors we need and where basically, um, and then go back and get them. We were then thinking of the upstairs doors, but we're gonna kind of move in first and then worry about upstairs, just because I feel like when you're doing a project like this, it's easier just to do one stage at a time. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.